Ty keeps telling us throughout the day, don't worry. Like, it's taking a little while to get the bite going. Sometimes we got to be on the spot exactly. Let me tell you, he knows what that means, on the spot exactly. He gets there, tide changes, and it's a flurry. Of, and I'm up first, and I start grinding on this big fish, and it is a monster. I can feel it right away. That thing takes the bait and takes me over the gunnel, and I say right away, this is a big halibut. That's a real fish there. Time for some low gear. <laughs> This is what I train all year for, right here, kids. This is where all the CrossFit comes in handy, and I'm spent. He's gonna get him, you watch. We're gonna pull this thing up, and it's gonna be a barn door. Just a chunker. We're gonna have some fish tacos. All I can see right now is fish tacos, filet of fish, fish sandwiches, fish burgers, fish talk salad. Fish under glass. It's like Forrest Gump, but with halibut. Dennis always makes things more difficult. He had the fish right here, and then he just let it go. I just didn't know what to do with my hands. They just kept coming up. Yeah! Woo! That's awesome. Yeah! Catch, clean, and cook, baby! Salt lifestyle! Part about being a hunter and a fisherman is getting to catch, clean, and cook, right? Like, if you've never had fish fresh off the boat, fresh out of the ocean, fresh out of the water, go straight to your plate and in your tummy, this is the way to do it. Our buddy here is whooping us up some dum yum dim sum that's about to make our bellies very happy. I hope you enjoy this. One of the things about fish tacos is it's pretty simple. It's a simple recipe. It's relatively quick, but there is a lot of different ways that you can do this. And with halibut, it's a perfect way to get a blackened, big chunk of meat in there. A little pico de gallo, a little bit of secret sauce. You know, you make up your own sauce and a corn tortilla. You know what, everybody's happy. It's a really good way to serve a lot of people and make a nice, simple recipe that's delicious. Sebastian found a nice little hole. We're gonna go ahead, hop in the water, see if we can't get us a lobster. Alrighty guys, just hopped out of the water. Sebastian's doing a great job. I am sucking it up. I have not dived in a long time. But a pretty box started here. Florida spiny lobsters. Look at that. Look at these beauties. So we are back home. We have our cooler filled up with lobster. There's a couple different ways to clean and cook lobster, but I'm gonna show you my way. And you're gonna take your knife and run it up into the lobster's head. Just like this, all the way up there. All the way down. Once you do that, it's gonna disconnect the tail from the head, so you're not gonna have to pull too hard. There you go. So this is our head right here. We're gonna go ahead, toss that in the bin. So now that we have just our tail, we need to remove the main vein. So this right here is the main vein from the lobster. You do not want to eat this. In most cases, you're going to hold the lobster tail just like this. You're going to insert the antenna right in the anal opening. You're going to push it in there, twist it, and it'll bring the main vein with it. But in this case, I pushed it too hard and it actually came out of up here. But now we have our tail all deveined. We're going to open it up. So you're going to put your knife right here you're gonna want a sharp, strong knife. Lobsters are pretty tough. Push down just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and open our tail up. Just like that, baby. So there you have it. Florida spiny lobster tail, as fresh as it gets, 
We're gonna go ahead, clean up the rest of them, and I'll see you guys on the grill. So, we're gonna come in with our first lobster, just like that. Second lobster. And then this one got split in half, but that's no problem. I'm gonna go ahead, put that right there. So this right here is some garlic, parmesan, and basil butter. I'm gonna take nice little pieces like that. We are just going to let that sit on top of our lobster. Once we close the top, it's gonna kind of soak into there and give the lobster an amazing taste. You do not need a lot when it comes to lobster. So we're gonna get a whole bunch on there and we're just gonna brush it in a bit. Just like that. Alrighty, our lobster tail is all finished up. I'm gonna go ahead and get those on our tray and get ready to have some dinner. Just get those right in there. Now, we're going to come in with some lemon. And just get that all over our lobster. And there you have beautiful Florida lobster all cooked up to perfection. Big burn. Whoa. Oh. What's oh. On the slow pitch rod. Nice. We're on. We're on, boys. We're on. Look kind of blue it's looking. A ling it's a ling. With the gaff. Look at the gaff. Nice. Nice California lean cod. Get all the slime so it gets nice and ready to cut. Kept it chilled for two days on ice. Gutted and gilled right after we caught it so the quality stays extra good. Sweet. Red guy. This is a vermilion rockfish. These are really good eating. Um, catch these off the coast of Southern California. And they are a personal favorite. <laughs> Alright. Here's our first filet. Beautiful white meat. And we're gonna take the skin off and get them ready for, for tacos tonight. So we're gonna dry them off. Paddle the excess blood off. Um, try to get all the scales. And then slide the knife under the skin. Just like that. And then to take the rest of the bones off, they usually run around here so you can flip it and run the knife down this spine, just like that, and then go on the other side. It looks like a little finger here, cut down the middle like that. And now you have a filet with no skin and no bones. Check our traps, see if we get lucky and rebait them. We're gonna use barracuda, iguanas, and uh, fish carcasses. So let's see what happens. 
We got a little baby claw in here. Look at that. Sometimes they be hiding though. Look at his little baby claw. Oh man. We're gonna, we're gonna let him go though. Yep. Alright. Alright. Barracuda. That's good. That's pretty good. I'll check it next week. This is the biggest one yet. Um, I'm gonna use this little device that the bean put me on, the little bean like uh, dip net, so we don't get got. Holy mackerel. Look at that thing. Huh. I've been around for a long time. Uh, <laughs> he's so strong. You guys will never believe how strong these little things are. It's crazy. Look at that. That's massive. All right, guys, this is the haul from today. I'm gonna show you guys how to properly cook stone crab claws. Super simple, just boil it for eight minutes, but we like to season it with some Old Bay because the fiance is from Maryland. So it definitely absorbs some of the flavor. Um, really easy, eight minutes, boiled, and that's it. All right, guys, it's almost time to take these out. What we're gonna do is put them in an ice bath and we use cork salt to make it a little colder. So this is going to stop the cooking process and you can see that they are looking almost ready. All right, guys, we're gonna start cracking these. I got this off of Amazon, um, a stone crab claw cracker. It makes it useful. They're really, really tough. All right guys, this is what this looks like all done. We usually use a mustard sauce and um, there is nothing better than stone crab claws. It's literally the best crustacean. 